So why, as a builder, do I hate electric cars? Let's get to it. So we're currently sitting at one of our new builds at, that requires a 400 amp panel. And to be honest, a majority of our new builds, if not all of them, are now requiring a 400 amp panel versus a 200 amp panel that used to be the standard for new builds as seen by our neighbor's panel right here. Why the upgrade from a 200 amp panel to a 400 amp panel has become the norm? That's what we're gonna talk about today in our video. But one of the number one reasons that that has taken place is because of the draw of energy that's required for dedicated circuits and specifically the 50 amp circuit that's required for any electrical car charging needs. So I know a hot topic in the building and construction community is the increased cost of what it takes to build a custom home or even the track homes that are being built here in the East and West Valley in Phoenix. But I will say that one of the key components is the additional draw from power from the grid. Now, in this case, you saw a 200 amp panel, which is you know smaller in nature and usually has about 40 spaces that are located within the panel. However, when you move to a 400 amp panel, you have a service tap and you actually usually have about 30 spaces which requires you to typically have a sub panel located somewhere else in the house this is one of the first areas that have increased cost for us as builders not only do we have to incur the additional cost of the 400 amp panel to be able to meet the power requirements for a lot of the dedicated circuits that are required for modern day living but in addition to that we have an additional sub panel that typically gets placed in the far side of the house to be able to help with the additional load that's created within various spaces such as the garage for our power charging station for our electric car, which we'll get to shortly. In addition to that though, when we first started building in Phoenix, we very rarely had to get an upgrade for a transformer to be able to provide the amount of power that's necessary to be able to power our homes. But because of the rise in 400 amp panels and the additional draw of electricity, almost every house that we build at this point requires us to be able to upgrade to a newer transformer, which ultimately cost us and our end user, whether that be a spec home or a custom home that we're building for a client, an additional five to $7,000 to be able to get the additional power necessary to be able to power what's being put inside the home. So now we're currently residing in the garage. And as mentioned, we have our 400 amp service, which has a 200 amp panel that's located for the main and then a 200 amp panel that's located in the garage. So since we were splitting that 400 amps across two panels, and the main reason that we're doing that is to allow for us to be able to have the appropriate amperage here in the garage. The first of which is gonna be our 50 amp dedicated circuit that's gonna be located here in the middle of our garage for our car charging station. Often is the case these days that architects and electrical engineers are actually putting two car car charging dedicated circuits into a lot of the new builds that are associated with a luxury building. And this increases the power from not only 150 amp circuit, but to 250 amp circuits, which has a massive draw on the overall power that is coming off the grid and into the home. So couple that with your kitchen appliances, your HVAC system, your laundry, and other dedicated circuits that are located throughout the home, and you quickly reach that threshold of 200 amps or more. In this case, we're just slightly over that on a 3,300 square foot home with only three and a half bathrooms that are located within this space. We're at about 220 amps, and that's only with one car charging station. So if we were to able to, if we added one more, we'd be at 260. And we also have a requirement to be able to ensure that we still have load capacity for anything that would be added additionally by the homeowner after they re start residing within the property. So in short, a lot of the modern conveniences that we love to tout today ultimately require more power than ever before. And this is driving the cost of building up in this one component of electricity within the home. We appreciate you following along. If you have any questions or comments about the differences between a 200 and 400 amp panel or the requirements thereof, feel free to DM us. We'd love to be able to respond to any of your comments or concerns. And as always, have a great day.